Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install uh, SQL Server 2022 Developer Edition on Windows 11. So the first thing you need to do is go to Microsoft website and download uh, the ISO uh, image of SQL Server 2022 Developer Edition, of course. Then after that, you need to mount uh, the ISO image on your machine and start the uh, setup file it's going to take a few seconds to load then when it is loaded uh, go to the uh, installation section of the installer and just click on new SQL server standalone installation you can also use this option to add features to an existing installation of SQL Server. When this loads, you have some uh, steps to go through in order to complete the installation. The first thing is the edition. So it's going to be developer edition. You can use this uh, setup to install an evaluation or an express edition of uh, SQL Server. I'm going to stick with developer edition or if you have the product key you can use it right here say next on the next page it's just license terms uh, you need to agree to these terms and check accept license terms and click next You can uh, uh, use uh, Microsoft updates to check for updates and this is recommended. I'm going to check it and say next. On this page, uh, the installer is checking some rules and it found a warning on Windows Firewall. And if I click on this, it's going to say that Windows Firewall is enabled and I need to make sure that uh, appropriate ports are open. So this is something that we can deal with uh, later, uh, but we don't have to fix it now. What this means is that uh, the Windows firewall is enabled and some ports that uh, SQL Server uses can be uh, uh, disabled by this firewall. So I need to allow them ex explicitly and make exceptions in the Windows firewall. So I don't need this now. I don't have to do it uh, immediately. So I can say next and just leave it as it is. Here I'm going to have to check some features that I want to select on my installation of SQL Server. I'm going to check database engine services. Uh, these are some shared features. I'm going to check None of these. I'm going to uh, to just go with uh, database engine services. And if I need anything else in the future, I can come back and add more features. But this is the main thing that I want to install now. Say next. Of course, I can change the installation directory uh, of SQL Server if I want to but I'm not going to do that. But if you want to do it, you can do it. Now, uh, there is some instance configuration here. I can change the name of this instance or keep it as default instance, which is MS SQL Server. I can call it my instance if I want to, but I'm just going to leave it to default and click next. Here I have more uh, server configuration, so I can configure a password, an account and the password for the server agent, the server database engine and server browser. So I'm going to leave this to default, but you can change this if you want. You can change, for example, the start type of each of these components. 
I'm going to say next. Here I'm going to have some database engine configuration, for example, authentication mode. Is it going to be just Windows authentication or mixed mode, which means Windows authentication and SQL Server authentication? If you don't know what that means, I'm going, I'm not going to explain this in detail right here, but in general or just quickly, you can have two types of authentication into your into your server, either using uh, Windows authentication or using SQL Server authentication or both. Actually, you have just Windows or both. You have two options. So I'm going to use both mixed mode. And then you need to create a password for the system uh, administrator account, SA. So I'm going to create password right here. And this is going to be the password for uh, the SA account, which is like the super user account uh, in SQL Server. And you have to remember this account, otherwise you are going to have problems. If you want to add some users add, as administrators uh, for this instance, I mean Windows user, you can add them right here. For example, I'm going to say add current user, which is my user. And I can also add other users, of course. And to add other users, I need just to click right here, add, and then type the username of the user I want to add. Then I'm going to click next. On this page, I can check uh, my installation uh, parameters before clicking install. So everything I have chosen is right here. For example, edition uh, developer, uh, for example, instance name, instance ID, what features I wanted to install. Uh, things like that so everything I have chosen is right here I can go back and change it and if I agree to it I can just say install and the installation is going to start it's going to take some time so I will pause the video and resume when the installation finishes as you can see here the installation has completed and I can see what has been ex uh, installed the feature uh, database engine services SQL browser, SQL writer, and set up support files. And uh, all of these have finished with the status succeeded. So close the installer. And let's uh, try to open SQL Server uh, Configuration Manager. It's right here. And as you can see, this is my instance uh, right here, and it's running. So with this, I have completed installing Windows Server 2022 Developer Edition on Windows 11. I hope this video was helpful for you, and thank you for watching.